Hello and welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. Well, as Earth Day approaches, some are thinking about more than just the health of the Earth. They're thinking about the health of the people who live on this Earth. And with us now to tell us more about what she's doing in her district, Wilma Amina Carter, a state assembly member. Thank, Thank you so you. much for being here. Thank you for having me. How are you going to celebrate Earth Day? Well, I was thinking about that, and I was thinking about how much the Earth um, provides for all of us. And then I thought about how much uh, is provided uh, right in our own community um, with community gardens and how uh, the food is available for us and how it's healthy food. And as I thought about that, I started uh, collecting uh, sites in my district that provided um, community gardens. And I thought this would be a good way to um, celebrate Earth Day by making sure uh, constituents in my district knew about it. I didn't know anything about it. Now, where are some of these, and how can people get involved with this? As a matter of fact, they're all over. It's a big movement on now with community gardens because there are two reasons. Number one, if you notice, there's a high, uh, there's a rise in obesity in child and children, and so we have to address that issue. Uh, we're working with schools, we're working with community groups, organizations and uh, identifying where community gardens are because number one it uh, is healthy food and number two it provides a way for families to uh, acquire food at a lower cost because a lot of them are not working don't have jobs to buy the necessary foods and so i think it's a good way to help uh, make sure our young people are are healthy and that they can do well in school it sounds like it's a uh, an educational tool as much as it's a practical application to glean fruits and vegetables. I can picture families bringing their kids and saying, Johnny, this is where vegetables really come from, not just the supermarket. And that is really a good idea. As a matter of fact, I uh, just visited a program in my district, not too far from my office, where families, whole families come in and they work a plot, an 18 uh, square foot plot, and they raise uh, all of their vegetables there. As a matter of fact, it's a, it's a development that is a combination of uh, community uh, agencies and organizations, and um, they were able to get funding in order to provide the irrigation for the plots. Whole families come in, and this one family would uh, grow one kind of vegetables, uh, the next uh, family would grow another kind, and then they would share. Is and there so, really enough abundance in these community plots where someone who contributes by helping to maintain these areas could actually uh, glean the fruits and vegetables they would need to feed their family? I, I am a farmer, so I understand that, uh, you know, once you make an 18-foot plot, that could feed so many families. Just think of an ear of corn, uh, how many kernels are on an ear of corn. Mm -hmm. If you take one of those kernels, it'll just grow fields and fields of corn. And so gardens are a way to do this, to provide uh, an abundance of food. And, and what better time to talk about this than on Earth Day? Sure. I mean, it seems in the past what has grown the most on our Earth is houses. We don't see a lot of uh, farming or gardening. You know. And even in your backyard, you can grow um, plots of food and um, provide tomatoes, vegetables, that kind of thing, and it reduce uh, your food costs. Okay, so how can people become involved in this? Number one, I've invited people to call my office to help me identify where community gardens are located. I've been working with schools to find out uh, the number of gardens that schools are doing. Uh, I've invited organizations to write grants in order to get funding so that we can increase the amount of land space for community gardens. And so I think it's going to be a big movement, and I'm really, really excited about it. All right, thanks. Happy growing to you. Thank and thank you. Thank you for tuning in. More HLN next.